In this lesson, I will show you how the reseller dashboard works. The reseller dashboard is the place where you manage all the apps you create on the platform. When you first request an access to this interface, you will see this. But as soon as you start adding projects into your space, you will end up with this. Before I show you in detail how it works, let's see how you open an access to this interface. Jump into any project you have on the platform and go to the reseller section under the add-ons menu. Fill the form to open an account and pay attention to the alpha project. The alpha project is the project that will lead all your account. That's the only project that won't be white labeled in your space. Validating the form will create an order if you're a new customer or will upgrade your account if you're an existing one. As soon as it is validated, you will be able to access the reseller dashboard from a new URL. Log to the reseller dashboard with your account ID. The first screen you'll see is a table that lists all the apps connected to your reseller account. This page gives an overview of the status of each app under your reseller account. Active projects. This project is published on iOS and Android. This one has been built on iOS, it's ready to be tested. I have deactivated this project. My customers no longer can access the content of the app. And here is my alpha project. It's from this page too that you will add new projects to your reseller account. You can create new project right from this iBox. Or you can select existing projects you have already created from the Goobarber portal. Here will be listed only the projects that have been created with the same account ID used to register for the reseller account. Here I can see the account ID I used to connect to my reseller dashboard. Use the star to activate or deactivate a project. Active projects are projects authorized person can access the backend and also if the app is published, end users will be able to use it normally. You deactivate a project when you want to lock the access to the backend and also, if the app is published, the app will stop to work properly. Sometimes you need to remove a project from your reseller account, but this project needs to remain active because you want to transfer ownership, for instance. So let me show you the trick. Click the cross and you'll be able to remove a project from your reseller account. The project has just been removed from your account. It has not been deleted. This project still exists and now for 30 days, it will be open. After those 30 days, if you don't transfer ownership or if you don't take a subscription for this sole project, it will be deleted. From your reseller dashboard, you can not only jump into any backend and work on the project, but also you can have a quick overview of all the invoices related to your reseller account. Remember, when you purchase an option, an add-on for one project in your account, the invoice will be linked to the alpha project and this is what this interface shows you. From the settings page, you can manage the identity of your reseller account. Put a RSS feed and you'll be able to display some news inside the backend of your customers. Provide the profiles of your social networks and it will appear in the backend of your users too. You can upload three logos to brand new space. Backend login is used when people log to a backend. Default icon is on the top left corner and sidebar icon is on the bottom left corner. If you provide the URL of your website, the sidebar icon will become clickable. Let's talk about URLs now because it's one of the first questions you ask me when you set up your reseller account. Your users access the backend with the default URL name of the project, .goodbarber.com. But you can customize this URL for all the projects in your reseller account. Start by typing your domain. Click OK. We give you instructions to make an NS record for your domain to our servers. So this operation needs to be done at your registrar. Then click Next and finalize the installation. From now on, all my projects will be available by name of the projects, mydomain.com. Now we have customized the URL 
of all your projects, but sometimes you need to modify only one URL for one project. Let me show you how to do it. Go to the Publish URL domain name menu of the project you want to modify. So here we are going to replace this default URL by something new. Enter your domain. Retrieve the parameters you need to set up at your registrar. In that case, you need to make a CNAME record and then finalize. This project can now be accessed from a dedicated URL. Another question you ask often is how to customize the package name of my Android apps. Let's see how it works. The package name is the unique identifier of your app on the Play Store and it appears in the URL of your app. By default, it's branded with Good Barber, but you can customize it. Under Package Name Personalization, replace Good Barber by the value you want for your package name. Now, all my package names will be made the same way. The, the value I've entered plus app name, app name being the name of the project. If you need to set up a specific package name for a specific project, you can do it from the back end of the project. When you follow the process to build your Android app, at some point you'll be prompted the default package name applied to this project. In this step, you can customize it and put another package name. Under the Your Agency tab, you can customize the name of your agency. That's the name appearing in your reseller dashboard. But not only, it's also the name of the sender of every email sent automatically by the platform to your customers. So the email, you can customize it, is this one. And the name associated with this email is the agency name. You can also change the owner of your agency. If you do it, be careful. You lose the ownership of the reseller account itself and also all the projects belonging to the reseller account. Use it with caution, there is no way back. As the owner of the reseller account, you can give access to the reseller dashboard to several people. Go to the Your Team tab, enter the account ID of your team member, add it, he will receive an email to confirm, and then he will access the dashboard. There is one last feature I want to show you, it's the duplication option. It's not activated by default in your reseller account, you need to write to the support to have it. Let's see how it works. From the Operations menu, choose an app as the source and then choose a target. If you click clone, the source will be duplicated on the target. It will be the exact copy. And then you'll be able to customize the target as you wish. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time and meanwhile, happy app building.